CEO Bob Iger dropped this memo to his team, uh, I believe last week. Dear fellow employees, as I shared with you in February, we have made the difficult decision to reduce our overall workforce by approximately 7,000 jobs as part of a strategic realignment of the company, including important cost saving measures necessary for creating a more effective, coordinated and streamlined approach to our business over the past few months. Senior leaders have been working closely with HR to assess their operational needs and I will give you an update on those efforts. Well, those updates are coming this week. As we know, a first round began and it impacted managers notifying employees. A second round that's gonna be larger is gonna take place in April. That's what Iger said and several thousand staffers will be let go then. And then a third round will occur before the beginning of summer. Uh, eliminating an estimated 7,000 jobs. And of course, this puts uh, a dent to some extent in Disney's workforce. There's, they can basically be cutting about seven, or excuse me, 3% of the workforce. And right now, Disney, uh, they have about 220,000 employees. And a lot of them, they do not necessarily make a lot of money. We know that Disney employees on average earn about $23.61, that is not necessarily enough to have a living wage, really depending on where you live. But we also know that Bob Iger has a base salary of a million dollars, and I'm sure there are plenty of benefits that go along with that. And that Disney made about 84 billion last year. Jessica, uh, any words on this? I think it's it's fascinating. I would love to know which jobs specifically were cut. What were those people doing? Because as we see the rise of AI and computing power, we've we've had some hysteria around, oh, robots are going to take your job. A robot is something that, that mechanically does something that human beings might usually do when you talk about replacement. But when we talk about AI, that can replace people's jobs as well. And the wording of this announcement, it doesn't seem like they're saying, ah, oh, it's just a temporary thing, you know, the economy's not so good. It seems like they're making some pretty permanent changes, actually. And so that tells me that they found a way to substitute this labor or they have a reason not to need this labor anymore. And so if this were something you told, I don't know, economists in, in the 70s or the 60s, you know, people are losing their jobs because we have the rise of AI, it'd be like, Great, so computers are doing work that we used to do. Humans much have so much more, they must have so much more leisure time than they did before if computers can work for us. But instead, this is gonna be 7,000 people wondering how they're going to pay the bills, wondering how they're going to get on unemployment insurance or find other work when really we should be in a position where it's like, great, AIs and computers can work for us and we can be more productive and do less work as a people and have a higher quality of life. Unfortunately, the way our economy is set up, that's not what's happening, but we need to make the changes so that that can happen. Absolutely, and the interesting thing as you've noted uh, in terms of why this is happening, as I understand that there's a billionaire activist investor named Nelson Peltz who was making a play for a board seat at Disney and he did not back down until Iger agreed to cut these costs by cutting these jobs and trimming down the company. That just tells you we are pawn in the billionaire's game. 